Okay, you guys, this reading is for Cancer, June 2020, mid-June reading. Please take the time to like, subscribe, share to my YouTube channel, Star Card Tarot. Let the star guide you. Now, take the energy how it resonates. If it's your story, you'll know. Energies are reversible. There's no gender in tarot. Time is fluid because we are, we're all on different timelines. So, I'm here to kind of go over the current energy that you guys may be in or just moved out of or moving into and give you some information as far as the best course of action some grand suggestions here um some health life coach advice as far as what the energy and situation is pertaining to now i do see that someone is needing to go into uh a sacred space to heal right we feel like we need some healing i do see a lot of healing energy here um it could be some sexual healing here as far as healing from like past traumas and a, a, a sexual abusive situation you know knowing that finding out or discovering that what happened wasn't what was supposed to happen so i definitely see someone um needing to find a way to understand that whatever it is that they went through or experienced that um they shouldn't place the blame on themselves to show themselves love compassion and be gentle with themselves now coming into a knowing now we're understanding what has happened to us right so we're needing to heal we're needing to heal in order to be a voice to heal others it looks like this is your calling this is your path and this is already pre-planned out now i guess the main idea here is you discovering this truth that this is your path right and you being able to manifest entirely on this path yeah as soon as i said manifest entirely on this path i got the um knight of wands which indicates that someone is needs to take action um dr the driving energy to take action with whatever this is again i see that it has to do with i, I feel like someone wants to be cleansed right needing to come up with someone could have been manipulated in a sexual situation someone needs to be cleansed but also showing compassion to themselves and others right the person who uh, did this right this is what i'm getting now i do see like someone um, is eager to take action they just probably don't know how to manifest this um i do see that in order to heal and move fully into your power we want to remove some blockages right and in order to do that we have to open up to spirit right cleanse and just welcome that energy in. I do see like someone's on their path kind of wandering around, but you are gonna be guided by spirit and your angels here to get you on the correct path because there's some uncertainty. Like there's a labyrinth, the labyrinth I think it's called, where someone is just like, they know, uh, they know they're just a little lost, right? We're just a little lost here, right? So it does look like someone needs to surrender to miracles ha happening, um, knowing that change is going to come and just opening up to spirit or whoever you pray to, to allow the change to come in, right? Because I see that we're tied up and we're, we wanting to, we're wanting to speak our truth about what's happened to us, but we kind of feel like our throat chakra is blocked. Like, how do I speak my truth? But I do see you um, needing to go pray or meditate in a sacred space in order to manifest the answers in order to discover your truth i definitely see you meditating in a sacred space and then in that case you'll be able to manifest the different elements that are required to walk in your journey with this magician the two magician cards popped up here and two different decks but i definitely see that we're a little a little lost due to what has happened to us but I feel like someone maybe snuck in and like abused you 
as a child. This could be a possible Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy, but I, I'm getting two different energies from this. Some of you guys are ready to take action and be an advocate. And somebody is like kind of really, really tied up in remembering this person coming in and manipulating them, right? Spirit, expand on, yeah, someone from your past came in and manipulated you with this past energy. Uh, they definitely like, they acted like they were so concerned and giving, right? And you were a little confused about what happened here. That's that tied up energy. You were confused about how this person that was supposed to be like an uncle or someone who cared about you, who you felt like, you know, they they try they tried this person manipulated you and tried to sign, shine light like this was a good thing, right? On a very nasty and disgust, disgusting situation, we were confused. We we're trying to figure out what in the hell was going on. You know, like, what's really happening to me? And right now, we're try we're rediscovering, like, what has happened to you, right? Expand on this reading spirit. Expand on this reading spirit. What's going on with Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Jupiter, June. Okay. You have the high priestess here twice with the goddess of the moon energy, right? So there's some secrets and um, where there's secrets that are being held and kept from this past energy and we're ready to speak our truth and we're just trying to figure out how. Like you're ready to tell someone, right? You're ready to come in and, and shake things up and tell someone about this person who used to come in and out your room, right? And you feel like someone else saw or knew and didn't say anything. And you want to express that as well. Yeah, this could have been a Taurus energy. I have Pisces energy here as well. Cancer's energy here. Expand on this reading. Yeah, it's like someone else knew this truth and they didn't say anything. Yeah, someone knew this truth and they did not say anything. They withheld information. They let it continue to happen to you. Maybe it was happening to them too. Or maybe you told someone and they didn't believe you. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is this Nine of Swords energy where someone knew what was happening, but they let it keep happening. Um, and I don't think you like could believe, like, wow, you're really letting this happen. You're letting this continue this person seems like they were confused about what was going on as well. Yep, and then here it goes. Nine of Swords just popped out. Yeah, so someone is in their head about this horrible thought, um, trying to find out information about what happened to them in the past, really trying to really come to terms. Yeah, trying to judge the situation. Yeah, someone was sexually abused, trying to understand this person that came in and out of their home in secret, right? Someone came out in and out of their home. Yeah, they weren't supposed to be there. And caused an upheaval of emotions, right? They spiritually fucked you up. They mentally fucked you up, yeah. A lot of conflict here from this person of your past, right? Because this person is trying to act like as if they didn't do it. And trying to bring peace as if... Um, and also, you, I see you trying to bring peace to the situation by speaking up and making other people aware. Because, yeah, I see someone here trying to bring, bring peace to the situation, taking a different course of action, not allowing this person to do this to someone else, or just exposing the truth here. Let me get another card, Spirit. This is interesting. Um, I did meditate for a little bit, so I, I haven't got a storyline like this before. So this is very um, different. I definitely see someone requires healing. Yeah, because, like, it's just like we knew what was happening, but it's like, wow, like an epiphany or aha moments start happening. Like, wow, that really happened to me. So you have the magician. I, I knew the magician was going to come out again. So we have the magician here three different times. Magician energy, magician energy. So we're trying to manifest change, right? We're trying to bring forth the truth 
walk in our truth yes as we discover our truth walk in our truth by being compassionate and gentle to ourselves yeah because we were really lost in our truth here right with our emotions spiritually physically you know when you're when you're that fucked up it just trickles down to other areas of your life you're probably on like anxiety meds right for a pa um, post uh, post post traumatic stress right disorder but I, I just heard enough enough like you don't want to be a victim anymore we want to be able to start on a new cycle and walk in your truth you don't want to be tied up anymore you've been lost on this path long enough you don't want to be tied up anymore you've been lost on the path long enough and you feel like you're headed towards a place of healing right because you you, you want to heal so you can heal others right and that's why we're taking this different course of action to expose the secret with the judgment card that we've been holding in um, with this hermit card we have virgo pisces scorpio energy here i do want to go through and clarify a few things so right now i'm using um i'm gonna use a seven sphere so let's clarify the knight of wands Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Who is this? What is this energy? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone's in your past. <sighs> they look sketchy. They feel sketchy. It was like they were trying to make this nightmare to be, like, good, you know? They were trying to make it seem like this was a good thing. This person looks so sketchy. This person looks so sketchy here. Like, they look, if you look at him closely, he looks like he knows what he he's done is, what ha he has done is wrong. Like, when he came and brought you whatever horrible thing that they brought you, it was, yeah, it just mentally fucked you up with this um, energy here. Yeah, so we have the tower card here. So this person is trying to prevent, is not wanting the secret to come out. This is Scorpio's energy. Uh, Mars energy, not wanting th this truth to be unveiled right here, right? You have the all-seeing eye. They don't want to be seen in this light of uh, molester, manipulator. Yeah, it's interesting. Clarify this person from the past. Yeah, and you have the high priestess behind that. So, yeah, this person does not want this truth to come down. They don't want to be seen. They don't want their secret to come out about what they've done. Clarify the six of swords. The six of cups. Clarify the six of cups. Clarify the six of cups. Clarify the Six of Cups. <coughs> mm. Four Pentacles. So, yeah, again, I feel like we're trying to release this stuck energy, right? And I feel like this person was also trying to continue to do this to you and you became of an age that you're like, no. Like they were trying to keep and also trying to hold on to this secret. I'm getting a lot of different things. You're trying to move out of this stuck energy from the past. This person was trying to continue to do this repetitive thing, trying to hold on to what that is a very sick energy, trying to hold on to the secret that you guys had, right? Trying to make it seem like it was good, you know? And they're also trying to hold on to the uh, the truth of coming out, the, I, the, the truth coming out here. 
clarify the four of pentacles yeah seven of pentacles right so whatever they planted there they want to leave there they want to leave it there they don't want it to come out and i also get that they wanted to continue to build on this energy which is very disgusting right high priestess again at the bottom of the deck so this person definitely want they didn't want their truth to come out right they didn't want to be judged they want want that karmic energy to come around also i feel like someone didn't want to break up a marriage i just got that two of pentacles two of pentacles what is going on with the two of pentacles energy So you have the temperance in reverse. Yeah. There was an imbalance here. Someone um, became like antsy about what happened. Like, did this happen? Did that happen? I know this happened. Someone's becoming impatient about discovering what has happened, especially with this Nine of Swords energy. Clarify the Nine of Swords here. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Thank you so much for coming down for coming down with these messages today. For cancer, for cancer. The world card. Clarify the world card. Clarify the world card. world card. So I feel like some hard lessons were learned over time, right? And that lessons, the things that happen in your world, we're wanting to be a, a magician again. We are wanting to manifest a new world. We're wanting to bring in the elements to manifest a new world. We want to communicate, right? We want to say, hold on. I'm getting that hold on again. Hold on. This is what happened. Hold on. I'm not going to suffer anymore, right? We want to bring truth, right? And share our emotions. Yes. We want to, when I said want to bring truth, the Ace of Pentacles came out. Yes, we want to bring truth. So we can embark on a new spiritual journey and just be cleansed of this energy. Clarify the judgment. So you have the Ten of Swords, someone's going to feel tapped out, and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's someone in the family that stabbed you in the back. Someone in the family is going to feel stabbed in the back. Someone in the family that betrayed you is going to feel stabbed in the back. There's a lot of energy. This person, this person also feels a lot of anxiety. Yeah. Because they know that, um, they know obviously what they did. And I do sense that, um, the wheels, they're going to, they're going to be put to a stop. The wheels going to stop turning. Also get that someone's going to be, the, bring the conflict. It's like conflict resolution to a head. This person is determined to put the this you're determined to put this cycle to an end, this com inner conflict to an end. You're determined to manifest this ending here. Yeah. So also have the moon card, right? So you're determined to put your nightmares to an end, this conflict, this internal conflict to an end. Clarify the magician.
we have judgment again and again. Someone doesn't want to be judged here. So you're like, hold on, I have a truth. And I feel like someone doesn't even care about how they're going to be judged because of this truth. Yeah. Yeah, someone doesn't care how they're going to be judged during this truth. They're, they're hopeful and they're feeling inspired to come out and communicate this truth, right? So they can move away from this with the Eight of Cups energy. Someone just had enough of being held back and they're ready to, to speak their truth. To bring in clarity, not only to others, but to themselves. Additional advice. What is going to be the most likely end outcome for this situation? Nothing will come of this situation. So I feel like someone's. I feel like that's what your lower level self is telling you, or that's what someone is trying to convince you of. Like some, like I said, I felt like someone else knew about this and they feel like exposing it that nothing's going to come. But yeah, change is going to come. With all these magician cards, change is going to come. Change is definitely going to come. Because you cannot suffer like this any longer. Change is going to come. Work through your fears. I did see that with the Nine of Swords coming up. Working through your fears. New Scorpio energy. New Moon Scorpio energy. Working through your fears. Yeah. Working through your fears so you can go ahead and communicate the truth. So you can manifest a new be beginning. Right? So you can stop going round and round in the labyrinth. And, and find where your path really lies with this thing. That's been holding you back. Right? This secret being strong enough to come out the dark and speak the information that you've been holding back, right? Because you've been holding this information in with the High Priestess, the Hermit, and the Nine of Swords. This is like nightmare terrors. Like, night terrors. Like, someone's having night terrors. Prosperity, like, like I said, with the communication and manifestation with the, all of the Magician cards coming out in all the decks, you definitely are going to be able to prosper from this. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Like I said, like when someone says nothing is going to come out of the situation, this is a dark, dark energy. Someone's trying to convince you. A lower entity or maybe a person that knew just feels like nothing's going to come out. Underlying energy, don't let your past hold you back. Yes, do not let your past hold you back, okay? Do not let your past hold you back. Let's do some surrender cards. I definitely feel like we need some advice about how to surrender, how to come into full form with this, how to understand this. this cancer needs to that was quick okay surrender to setting limits it's healthy to set boundaries in your relationship practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete action so this person could be something here we need to say no to and set limits to and I feel like you're moving into that energy. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions to come out with this information. Yeah. Don't let, don't be swayed by others' strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Exactly. And that's why I said nothing will come in the situation. That's not your energy. That's someone else's dark energy. But it's your, you need to trust yourself. That this is the right thing to do to communicate this inner information to to bring forth change on many different levels surrender to stress i did see you stressing anxiety worries take a deep breath and exhale tension you build up in your body let the stress go as you come back to center and i see that with the rest reju rejuvenation being able to come back to center 
as you release this baggage, as you release this burden, as you release this truth. It says surrender. Surrender comparisons with, with other people. Yeah, so maybe we're saying like, what will this person do? What will somebody else do? No, it's about your journey and what you, you've been called here to do, right? So we have surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. And I see you guys surrendering. Being able to make this uh, 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 this shining light on this dark situation here. Surrender to divine time, and sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal law. Yeah, so just know that you know you're gonna trust yourself to speak the truth at the right time is what I got. And then we'll do that. Um, surren surrender to complete healing, open fully to loving. I got that with the compassion and gentle. This card, open fully to loving, compassion forces of the universe, support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And that's what I got with this ace. Deciding to move forward with spiritual, emotional, and physical healing. That is the, um, the pinnacles. That is the ace of pinnacles for sure. All right, you guys, Cancer. It was a pleasure doing your reason, reading. I hope you're able to understand and comprehend that it's time to step full into your power and expose this person for what they've done to you and what they may have done to others and knowing that your journey is not for everyone to understand and being confident enough to go out there and know that even though many people might not understand this that um many people will as well all right, and I, I do see that we're, we're building into the strength to communicate this and bring forth change. And it's very important that you speak your truth here, right? That you come about the dark, um, that you start ha stop having a night terrors. And uh, I see that you're thinking about the worst possible outcome of speaking your truth. And with this, this card here, we're like super scared of speaking our truth, but you've been in the dark too long with the high priestess, the moon card, the hermit card, the nine of swords. You've been there too long and it's time to take a um, walk forward, leave that 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 um, energy back, heal from that energy, moving into a calmer place. Um, I don't feel like you would regret this. Okay, peace.